In the 1600s, the Dutch West Indian Company probably traded with the Native Americans here in the New World. They were, however, more interested in trade than in colonization. However, several of its members offered their services to the Kingdom of Sweden as colonizers to claim their land for the king and make a new Sweden. Peter Minuet, the former director general of New Netherland, led the Swedish expedition that established the first permanent settlement in Delaware. In March 1638, the expedition built a fortified trading post on the site of the present-day Wilmington. It was named Fort Christiana in honor of the Queen of Sweden. Minuet secured a deed from the Native Americans for the land extending north from the Bombay Hook to the Schuylkill River, which flows into the Delaware at what is now Philadelphia. Over the next 17 years, more than a dozen expeditions arrived in New Sweden, bringing Swedish, Finnish, and Dutch settlers, as well as livestock, grain, and tools. Additional land was bought on both sides of the Delaware. Under the rule of then-Governor Johan Björnson Prins, new forts, houses, mills, and wharves were built, tobacco was planted, and trade with the Native Americans was encouraged. The Swedes only had the land for their own for about 20 years. Swedish settlers introduced log construction based on familiar methods back home. With trees so abundant in America, German and Scots-Irish arrivals picked up this building type, the log cabin, and took it westward into the frontiers. The Swedes also introduced a form of gambrelled roof, a roof with two slopes, the lower slope steeper than the upper. The English, who assumed control of New Sweden in 1682, borrowed this roof shape for their buildings. You can see it today at the Swedish cabin. One of the remarkable features about it is the Swedish construction is the fireplace in the corner of the room. The place has been occupied on and off through the 1970s, I believe. Added later was a second room built as a separate residence. Separate residence. The place is probably the size of what we would consider to be a small bedroom nowadays. It's about 10 by 12 by 10. Again, different artifacts on the wall from different eras. Number 11, 6, Seven. Three. Eight. Four. 